Um, hey everybody, um, sorry I've been gone for the last couple weeks now, I've been feeling good and now I have a cold like thing so I hope I don't sound too awful. <sighs> um, today's gonna be, um, part two in my Shadowhunter Chronicles, um, series. Which is, will be about the mortal instruments. Because I get, um, I'm gonna do it slightly differently because I don't own the frontal devices yet. Maybe I'll get them for my birthday, who knows. I'm um, sorry, I'm sucking on a lodge and cough drop here. Um, I'm not gonna do a full series book talk unless you guys want one. You guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about this, but oh well, it's my favorite series, so. Um, Johnny Giffen's and other people talking about their favorite series, so. Anyway, moving on. I'm just gonna, um, it's gonna be similar to the first part that I'm going to say what I love, like, about most, and then what I dislike about it. And I'll go through each book. Because I own the Mortal Instruments, I did, um, I got them for my birthday last year. Anyway, for those of you who didn't see the birthday haul video, um, okay, first one, oh, just go with spoilers, um, not for the whole book, not for the whole series, but for certain parts, so if you haven't read the series in total, I would not watch this, unless you don't plan on reading them, and then why would you be re-watching this, I don't know, if I'm low energy, it's because I am low energy, and I'm, I apologize, but I did want to give you guys another a video since it's been a little bit. And here's, um, City of Bones. I don't know if it's in shop. Hope it is in shot. Right there. Um, my favorite part, my pro, my pro, uh, for City of Bones is just that it introduced me to the Shadow World and introduced me to all these characters, most of them which I am totally in love with. And this is the first series like after Twilight. I, I was like, I was looking for like another Twilight. I was like, oh, okay, I'm done with Twilight. I love it. I want another series. I love, you know, that I can just, you know, sink my teeth into. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, and then I saw City Bones at my library, and I was like, I read the summary, like, hmm, sounds good. And you know, Stephanie Meyer uh, had a what do you call a blurb or something on it? And I was like, that plus the summer, I was like, hmm, I'll check it out. And at that time, only the first three books were out. So, anyway, um, okay, let's go into my pro. Yes, don't get sidetracked. Uh, well, yeah, I said what my pro about, like, the, um, this to the, you know, me to the world and characters. That's, like, my favorite part of the whole series, because it's just, like, you know. So, uh, my least favorite, oh, sorry. My least favorite part of the series is, um, the twist, the plot twist. Did I know the plot twist was BS? Yes. I go, okay, it's gonna be rap you know, I've said this before. But I'll say it again just in case this is the first video you've ever seen of mine or whatever. I knew it was BS. I was going, okay, don't wrap this up in the next book. No. And I go, mm -hmm. maybe I'll wrap it up in the third book. And then you read the third book and you're like going, and going oh God, when are, when are you gonna find out the truth, you know? And, and then when they do, and then Claire finds out first, and you're like, oh my gosh, and then, she, I don't know why she took so long to tell Jace, I was like, oh my god, oh, I don't know, but that was my least, I know I was going to dive into City Ashes there, but, um, and City Glass, but that plot twist was just like my least favorite thing, because I was like, why, why, anyway, now we're going to City of Ashes, even though I've kind of dove into the second, third book a little bit. Sorry. Um, I'm off my game. <laughs> Here's the 
the city of ashes. Yeah. Book two, Mortal Instruments, which is by Cassandra Clare. Um, city of Ashes, my favorite thing about City of Ashes, Simon becoming a daylighter. That, that was my favorite part. And the fact that it was Jace that, um, helped him turn into it was kind of funny, you know, you know, in an ironic sort of way. And, um, my other favorite was that room that Clary, uh, created to help them that blew up the sh Valentine's ship and helped them get away and all that and win and all that. So that were all my two favorite things about City of Ashes. I have so many favorite things and moments in each book, that, but that would turn into a whole series talk and I don't know. I might do one down the line, more detailed um, thing. Uh, the con about City of Ashes. They were still dragging out the plot twist. Um, yeah, that was definitely like, like, oh my gosh, please, no. Why did my baby be happy? Um, that's about it for that book. I, I'm so well spoken. Um, here's City of uh, Glass. You can do the covers, not the original, obviously. Uh, or not so often, I don't know. Um, the third book in the series. Okay, um, pros for the Glass. Place finds out, the, finds out the truth. Um, Valentine kicks it. Um, Oh, and Jay saving, uh, Claire. Come on! Okay. And, uh, as I was saying before my lights went out, um, when Clary asked the angel Raziel to save Jace's life after Valentine stabbed his, who, at the time, you know, well, Jake knew it was a, I don't think he knew it was a lie at that time, that, you know, right before they found out the truth, but, um, anyway, um, uh, least favorite part of City Glass, uh, see. wait, I think that was the book that, uh, Simon got locked up? In City of Glass, I think. Yeah. Um, that probably my least favorite part. Um. Yeah. Oh, no, no, that's not my least favorite part. My least favorite part of City of Glass is. Um. Johnson. A.K.A. Sebastian. Killing Max Lightwood. That was my least favorite part. Definitely. <sighs> anyway, moving on. Here's City of Fallen Angels, book four, four series. Uh, see, fit part of. Mm, I think I like the beginning of the book when um, everything was still, you know, like they were still riding off the high of, you know, what happened to City of Glass. And my least favorite part. Uh, no, I actually, my other favorite part, or other pro. Is, I think this is the first book with uh, Jordan in it, and I like him a lot. I like him a lot. Sorry, words mixed up. Um, the least favorite part is uh, Jace not communicating why the hell he was distancing himself from Clary. Why didn't he tell him what was going on? No, we have to do the 
stereotypical non-communication trope that so many books do. There. Um, and... The ending, ending, ending of, um, City Fallen Angels when I find out it was Lilith controlling Jace or trying to control Jace and then she links uh, Jason uh, Sebastian slash Johnson's uh, lives together which set, set the book five that was probably like a, another least favorite but like I remember reading it for the first time going what the hell is going on with Jace why is he like having these you know back you know these nightmares and stuff and anyway now moving on to City of Lost Souls yeah, these books are getting bigger now uh -uh. book 5 of the series uh favorite this had a lot of Johnson slash Sebastian in it um which I didn't like cause he's a <laughs> the same um, uh, my pro about the book is that even though Jace was, you know, linked to, uh, Jonathan, he still, you know, loved Clary. I love how Clary just, like, didn't give up. She's like, no, I'm gonna get my Jace back. I'm gonna get him back. Not just for myself, but for his family and everything. It's like, her, I mean, people make fun of Clary, but she does have... Good, a lot of good things. More, I say more good things about her than bad, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, least favorite part: finding out how extremely creepy Sebastian is. Ugh. Like when he was hitting on Clary, and then he was beating her, fight, fighting with her, but. Of course, Clary couldn't kill him because that would have killed Jace too because their lives were linked. And I was like, oh. and I didn't like how Jace was like basically a slave to Jonathan. I don't know why Johnson's influence was stronger than Jace's. Why couldn't Jace's influence, the, like the link between them, made Sebastian good instead of making Jace? Well, Jace wasn't evil. He was just like. You know Sebastian's puppet. Um, least okay. This yeah, I said my favorite part. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I have to say about that. Without going like, if I say much more about any of these books, it's gonna literally turn into a book talk. So I'm just trying to like do the pros and cons, like favorites, least favorite kind of thing. And last but not least, <laughs> City of Heavenly Fire. Book six in the Morland Smith. Sorry, I'm being shaky with it. <sighs> wow, this, this that was a that was a finale right there. Um, a lot happens. Uh, favorite part? God, I have so many. Um, Clary and Chase finally get together. If you know what I mean. And motion sensor light. Gotta love them. And the most, well, besides, well, that, that the first time was meaningful. And I'm sure the TV show's gonna screw that up. Anyway, but my other favorite, other pro for the book, God, I have so many pros for this book, uh, was when Clary walked through the fire, the fire to get to Jace. It makes me tear up every time I think about it. Um, that like every I've read the series now like three times, and it gets me like every time you can like you can tell that I'm like starting to like you know t tear up now. But um, I think it's like the most mm, I say adventurous 
book out of the series because of them having to go to the um, demon realm or hell realm, whatever you want to call it. Excuse me. Uh, what's the other favorite moments? I don't want to go into any of my other favorite moments because then it'll, this video will be really long. Um, least favorite moments. Um, the end of the book where Simon gives up his me uh, memories of the Shadow World. Which I don't get why he would forget Clary considering he knew Clary before she became an... A nymph oh, discovered that she was a nymphalum. So, he knew her before they knew about the Shadow Worlds. So I don't get why he forgot her, too. But, I guess they're trying to, like, type all the, like, loose ends or something. I don't know. And, um, my other least favorite moment was when Sebastian died only the last like the last five minutes when he was truly himself again and he wasn't the evil sob that he has been since he ended the series in book three um i know even if the sword had cleansed him and he became good like totally good he would still have to pay for all the you know crimes that he's committed so he probably would have been you know, killed anyway by the clave or... And that's, um, my very, I feel sloppy video on, um, the Mortal Instruments, post, um, Shadowhound Chronicles, uh, part two. Uh, part three will be the Dark Artifices, but not until all three books are out, which won't be until like 2019, I think, if I'm remembering right, which I think I am. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed most of that, and if you have any questions for me, or you want to talk about the books in the comments, let's, uh, let's do it, let's, uh, let's talk. And, um, peace.